Here's part three and the final part of embracing your date's beige flax. Before we start, what are your thoughts on part one and two? Were any of these dating types people that you could see developing a relationship with? We all have our quirks and our idiosyncrasies. Personally, I have tons. And if you're honest with yourself, you do too. Thank God us that none of us are perfect. So on to part three, the sensory maverick. Imagine going on a date with someone who is a connoisseur of pleasure. They excel in creating immersive experiences that tantalize your taste buds, seduce your sight, and envelop you in captivating aromas. Their goal is to indulge your senses to their fullest extent. You may have lost touch with your senses, but accept this invitation and surrender to the pleasure of the moment and embark on a sensory journey like no other. By allowing yourself to embrace the experiences, you might find yourself captivated by the sensations and enjoy creating lasting memories together. Embrace and enjoy. The Exhibitionist. Some daters thrive on the excitement of public displays of affection and the adrenaline rush that comes with being caught in the act. They may seek out secluded corners for steamy makeout sessions or suggest daring adventures in semi-public spaces. If you feel comfortable with this level, level of public intimacy and open to exploring your passion in unconventional settings, it can ignite a flame of excitement in your connection. However, it's crucial to set clear boundaries and ensure that both you and your partner feel comfortable, safe, and secure in your escapades. Choose your moments wisely and respect the boundaries and comfort levels of one another and those around you. The role play maestro. Imagine going on a date with someone who has a talent for creating elaborate scenarios and assuming different personas. They bring your fantasies to life with unparalleled enthusiasm. Whether it's as a sultry sedu seductor, a mysterious stranger, or a powerful authority figure. If you're open to entering a world of possibilities and exploring new roles and experiences, be sure to communicate your boundaries explicitly up front. Openly discuss your comfort level can have you happily embarking on adventure that blurs the lines between reality and fantasy. While the weird habits of our dates may not always align with our own preferences, approach them with curiosity, open communication, and a sense of playfulness. By embracing these quirks and seeking to understand their motivations behind them, you can foster a deeper connection and build stronger relationships. Remember, a little dose of weirdness can add excitement and richness to the dating experience. Be bold and embrace it. Accept their quirks, find common ground, and embark on a journey of discovery and connection with your potential partner. Let yourself be captivated by the intriguing and unconventional habits of your dates. Your best life is predicated on acceptance, growth, and intimacy. You might just find a new side to you, one that opens you up to being your true, authentic, quirky self. I'm curious, which one of these have you encountered on a date? Reply to this with your experiences and let me know if their beige flags turn crimson or emerald for you. If you're looking for expert dating tips, strategies, and techniques, consider joining me in the Art of Dating Academy starting soon. In this eight-week program, you'll learn how to attract, connect, and date wonderful, worthy men and create the loving relationship that you deserve. I can't wait for you to be a part of this. Dare to date differently. I'm Elizabeth Trich, your wing woman in life and in love, 
And my mission in life is to help you find love.